All right. Hello. Welcome. So we're doing an experiment today. Hopefully we are going to have a joint stream with my friend Scott, who has been helping out on chat a few times as I build up various bits of this. Um, I consider him the math wizard, so I'm hoping he will do lots of math. And um, so yeah, if, if, if the technical details work out right, and if my internet can handle it, let's, uh, should see his face here. Hey. Hello. All right, I think awesome. it's working. Perfect. Uh, welcome. Do you want to introduce yourself? Or <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. I am Scott Holden. I'm yeah, me, Dev, <laughs> IT guy, all that jazz. I work with Dave. So Sounds good. I have two jobs now. Yes, this is the second job we worked <laughs> together at. Uh, for the record, uh, I followed him, but never mind. Ah, no. So let's cool. let's do some trains. Um, yeah. So yes, you're the math expert. Um, <clears throat> you know about corners and pi and circles and things. So, <laughs> what do you want to work on? Because well, yeah, I was about I to know, say we can do a little bit around the trains and making them move a little bit more fluidly than jumping probably, from cell to cell. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so I have no idea where this project was left off. So we're going to have to do a bit of discovery as well. Well. Um, <clears throat> probably the actual trains haven't changed since you last saw it um ah, awesome the biggest the, the only thing i've been doing is the winforms app is gone and everything yep. is through that one wpf entry point so that's all working but yeah the actual game has not changed much um not that i can remember where anything happens either but uh <clears throat> yeah currently so we have a it's a bit of a weird relationship. We have a train renderer yeah. cool. that um, doesn't do much. Like it just draws a train. Then we have a train, a trains renderer, and it yep. works out where to put the trains. Which perfect. Yeah, it, I don't know. It seems a little weird, but at the same time, it also makes sense. Um, yep. The funny bit is right here, where so the trains renderer gets the track. And asks yep. the track for an angle. Now, yep. I'm okay with that because of the grand plans to have multiple cell tracks, but at the same time, yep. it's a bit of overkill. Um, and then the other thing it doesn't do is it doesn't ask for a position, it just yes. plonks it in the middle because that's all this does at the moment. So, yep. positioning the trains is one thing. The other reason it plonks it in the middle is. Um, and I can't remember where this is, but I think it might be in game board. Uh, we currently only move full cells at a time. Yep. Um, so there's no actual granularity to the movement yet. And cool. Yeah, that those two things are sort of related, right? Because movement could either be well, let's increment. Yeah. So in that train dot move, we could either let's increment our position. Um, or we could have you know some kind of percentage representation of how far through the track we are or something, and um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> awesome. So when these trains are moving, so game loop step, we grab the train, we get the track for train. Yeah. <clears throat> what does get track for train do? It's just uh... cool. Track that's underneath the train. Track that's underneath the train. And then if there is track there, then we move it. Yes. We get the neighbors. We get the next track. So gotcha. And all this is to get the direction. Rosa adjusted. Yep. Perfect. So there's a couple of things we'll need to think about. The first <laughs> one, which is probably the most difficult one, is for a train. Mm -hmm. Is a train a single point in the middle of the train mm. that it rotates around, mm -hmm. or is it two points for the beginning of the train and the end of the train that is drawn in between? It's a very good question. So, <clears throat> for for the purposes of where a train is, yep. I so 
my gut feeling is it doesn't matter. What matters is where do we do a hit test for can we move to the next track? Is there a track in front of us or is there a train in front of us or something like that? Yep. I don't know if it matters where the train starts and ends so much. Um, yeah, so it all comes down to do we actually want to store, uh, sorry, do we want to actually represent a train as a point in a rotation when drawing it? Or do we want to explicitly represent it as two points and infer angle from there? Uh, um, so the so the classic example is uh, let me open up trains two here, <laughs> so we can there side by side, and I'm going to zoom in so it's nice and blurry. If you watch on, actually I want global controls at the same time. If you watch on the corner, you can't move. I can't drag. <laughs> I can't move global controls. Yeah. Apparently that loop. They just they just um, not zoom uh, zoom yeah. compatible. Yeah, so if you have a look at the train on a corner, it's technically quite off the tracks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. And yeah. it's because when we when we did this one, it was literally a train as a singular point and yes. a rotation and a velocity uh, yes. that's associated with that. Um, right, whereas two points would make it stick to the tracks and move more. Yeah. Correct, oh. yeah. The nice thing about representing it as multiple points is that actually gives you a same mechanism to do carriages because yes. carriages are now additional points at fixed offsets. Yes. Um, it's difficult to implement, though, <laughs> which is always a bit of a pain. So we can start as a, as a single point in a velocity and move on from there. Yeah, um, I think I think we should go yeah. easy first. Um, and cool. then we can always, in theory, write some tests and, you know. Yeah, that's it. So what we really care about for a train is a position. Mm -hmm. We then want to know a direction, so where the train's actually moving towards. Yes, and which is something that maybe is yeah. not quite implemented yet either. Yeah, like, and that's where we can represent that as, hey, I'm in this cell, I'm aiming to get to this cell, draw mm -hmm. a line in between, or we can represent it as, hey, I am at a particular angle. Yeah. Um, the nice thing about a particular angle is it means you can be very, very free, free flow and the math's a little bit easier for the drawing side of things. Yes. So from a train's perspective, it knows what angles it's at irrespective of what tracks below it. You do need to do a bit of compensating logic though, because if we move the track below a train when it's on a corner and then you put the track back on, it needs to, to a degree, snap back yeah, to yeah. that track. Somehow. So, yeah. yeah. So I think mm -hmm. let's start with that. Cool. And then the next thing outside of that is then, and we were talking about this before, is responsibility. Yes. Um, who's responsible for moving from one track to another? And it's a it's an interesting concept. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, at the, at the moment, well, at the moment the train moves from one cell to another. And there yep. happens to be a track underneath it, which is probably correct. Fine. And that is the so it's the train's responsibility. Well, I should remove that. It is the train's responsibility to decide which cell it should be on in this in this implementation at the moment. Yes, which means the train needs to know when it's leaving a track, which may not be something it can reason about if we get complicated tracks it's yeah yep. but the yep. track is passed into that method so maybe there's yeah, some that, that's exactly communication it. yeah i i suspect with cool. all this stuff that it we, we'll get to a point where something from the engine layer needs something from the rendering layer okay. and that's when we have to throw yep. our hands up and go nope whole design's terrible but until yep. we get there yeah that's uh, it cool <laughs> so we have a Track direction. Oh, this what is do just have? the. Do we have a? That's the initial direction. Um, oh, gotcha. Yeah. We have so, a train direction, left, right, up, down. Perfect. Yes, and get train direction comes from the there's the track. There's a get train direction method. Yep. Um, yeah, that direction is pretty lame. Um, yep. And it doesn't. I was about to say how. How aggressive can I be here? With oh, very. The code? Yeah, very. Because cool. so that direction, then there's a horrible method in track where that direction yep. maps to an angle, and it's just the most confusing thing. And it was a pain to even write it, and let alone every time I have to go and read it, I'm going to try and work out. Yeah. Um, um, 
would what camp would you like to live in? Actually, what does Scare Sharp like for angles? Does it want floats or doubles? Um, it's floats, I believe. Certainly not. Uh, Prenderiz. But hey, I can look this up while you're doing that because oh. I'm magical and live share. Maybe, although um, interestingly, I can't go to different. Rotate degrees at once. Floats. Cool. Awesome. Cool. So we are going to use a float for angle mm. and awesome um the other thing we need to decide is in terms of angles do we want to represent this thing in radians or degrees and all that jazz um well so th and this, this yeah. is where i also have a a concern maybe uh should yeah. angle even be on a train or is angle so Nothing in this layer at the moment deals with pixels. So angle, yep. okay, that doesn't, that's not pixels. Yep. But anyway, we'll see. Yeah. The <clears> next <throat> question is, so at the moment we have a singular fixed position within the board representing yes. a cell. Yes. So at the moment we basically have one pixel by one pixel cells if we're moving one pixel at a time. Or sorry, one from, unit by one unit cells. From the engine's point of view, yes. Yes. So the next question is, do we want to store, um, do we want to store relative position, position relative to the cell or position relative to the board? Which is an even more complex area because there's so many different responsibilities that should happen. Yeah. And this is kind of also where that idea of, can we store a percentage of the way through the cell so that yep. the actual size of the cell is irrelevant, but yeah, I don't know how easy that is. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and that's where we may actually just go... Um, let's just start with... Uh, I'm assuming cell relative is... is yeah, let's start there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's easiest in terms of this. Yeah. So <clears throat> all we do is we basically say that, um, and we're just going to make some assumptions. Um, do you prefer left and top, X and R, X and Y? Um, how's the board drawn? Um, I, I think I'm a left and top person. Perfect. <laughs> it's always <laughs> worth double checking when you're in someone else's code base. It's, it's, all, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> good one. Um, cool. So at the moment we have angle, relative left, relative top. So. This is interesting because what we actually need to do, I'm just, I might just write some pseudocode from this. It's, mm -hmm. it's technically now not the train's responsibility mm -hmm. to do this. So this could actually disappear from a train, though I'm not sure I'll do that at the moment. Where would so, it go? This is the thing where... Who's yeah, responsible um, is it? That's the best question. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, what we're doing is we want to pass... So our move pseudocode now is we want to pass to a track. So into a track, we want to pass an, a relative left, relative top, and an angle. Mm -hmm. as well as a um let's just call it a distance for the moment which is yep. a combination of our time and velocity that should then return and we could i'll just say they're ref for the moment ref relative left and relative top yep yep okay that ref so yeah. so the track gets to yeah. move the train yes because only the track knows about the position of the train overall mm -hmm. um in reality what we also want here is a, a um out um and once again this is a little bit tough so we can either ask the track to decide when it moves beyond its boundaries or allow the train to decide when it needs to move 
So a great example here would be, say for example, um, just to code it again, um, if relative left is smaller than zero, then we actually need to minus minus sal. Yep. So I was thinking about this from another point of view uh, the other day, I think, and I, I was actually wondering if the track shouldn't be in charge of all of this because I could envisage a track that is, say, a station where the train comes in and stops for 30 seconds and then moves on. So the track decides that, no, no, at the moment the train is stationary. Or, you know, you could do a speed boost yep. alarm. <laughs> yeah, and this is where theoretically we we actually need another, uh, there's another layer in here mm. where a track is an implementation detail of a path. Yes. We actually need a path finding layer that yeah. links an entity to a path, if you will. Yes. Um, because then... Then that path in turn, what we're really, what you're really talking about there is uh, velocity not only being a factor of the train, but also of the track that it's on. Um, yes, absolutely. The classic: if you drive off the road onto the grass, you go half the speed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's a that's a that's a good point. So let's start with this. Um, do you want to use refs or do you want to mm -hmm. pass back out a tuple and deconstruct it back to the originals? No, we can we can use refs. Got them. Cool. Kind of awesome. Like. You can always refactor this stuff later. True. True. <clears throat> so let's actually do something. So, so we actually want to do a track move with our relative left relative top it's actually just that entire thing yeah the only so difference is yeah why is an angle a ref ah uh, it should be yeah i understood Good pick something up. <laughs> yeah um and so once again this the, technically distance should be a ref as well Mm, yes. So because we can move a certain distance without. So, yeah. See, so, now distance is. It's weird that we have position and distance when. Yep. But yeah, I mean, we can keep it for now and maybe fix it up later. But yeah. yes, it it does make sense that distance is a ref as well. Yep. So. Our speed adjustment factor that's passed in. Yeah, I believe that's um, one. One. Cool. <laughs> <At the> awesome. <laughs> awesome. So, cool. So we're going to... Theoretical future enhancement. Yep, we're <clears> going <throat> to make up a fuzzy distance. Okay. Well, and, yeah, so, and speed adjustment factor... Actually, you keep typing. I'm just going to look at what that was because yep. I think like trains should have speed. Oh, yes, yeah, so speed yep. adjustment factor is a constant that's just like how fast in general is the game based on the timer. Yeah. So how many how many bits of speed per time? Yep. So, and technically it should be ref distance. I am definitely going to come back and refactor this into returning a tuple rather than everything being passed by ref because <laughs> it just feels slightly dirty. Um, yeah, that feels super dirty but that's all right um i have made a method for you you have <laughs> oh wow just to confuse you while you're yep. busy working uh property or indexer may not be passed <clears throat> as an out yeah. or rep you can't do that you got <sighs> yeah so uh let's do it let's do a tuple okay Four floats. That's good. Go. Uh, hang on, I've got two more refs to remove. Oh. So live share is interesting. I can't go to definition. I mean, I should be able to. Oh, it's really? just not. It's just not working. Put everything else. Okay. Fine. So that. Oh, is that my uh, code analysis? Yeah. This dog. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, I feel like I'm on the coding train. This dot everywhere. That'll be a um, big conventions because it's lowercase. Oh no. Oh, it's because you haven't used it yet. Cool. Yeah. 
So this is the magic code there. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that this really, really, really trusts in is the fact that track dot move will eventually yeah actually disseminate distance. Yeah. <laughs> so we do need to make some assumptions and hey, that's a great thing for track to actually be tested for. That's um hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Yep. That's that's interesting. <clears throat> yeah. Um and uh, yeah, this this whole pattern here I don't think I particularly like, but it's the easiest way to actually get implemented. We we'll start with it. Cool. Yep. Um, we then basically say, so we're going to say relative left and relative top are a number between zero and one. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, just because that makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, so we can now go if that this makes dot relative sense. left at, is smaller. At this than, level, uh, we don't have pixels or know how wide a cell is or anything, so that makes sense. In fact, it's probably the only thing we can do. Yeah, that's exactly it. So this is going to be a fun part. So if we say, hey, if it's less, then we can grab our column because we're going, um, we're going to shift across one and then our relative left, theoretically, yeah, let's go with that. Interesting. Um, Yeah. So that's the oh, feels okay. annoying writing it out that way. The plus plus and minus um, minus look. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. That can't be right. Can it? Don't you want to set it to? Do it, does it matter if we set it to one or like that's going to be some amount less than one? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Um, let's let's be explicit with it. Um, so in this case, it's going to be zero point nine 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 f, for example. Yeah, that that was kind of what I was wondering. Is like, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Like that sort of thing. Fair enough. But Che, that'll work. Um, the biggest thing is we only want to be slightly into the other column or the row because we actually have no idea where we should be yeah yeah that's where we need to get the other track to position yep. kind of thing. yeah yeah and that's where it needs to do a little bit of snapping on its end so oh i can get the error list good i've been looking at your error list as i type <laughs> trying to nice. work out what i'm doing so the error list does work just wasn't open. Cool. So theoretically, um, I can nuke this. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And we haven't broken anything, but let's. We haven't done anything either. <laughs> we haven't done anything. Awesome. So this is fun because we now need to write the logic for how we move for each of these tracks. Yes. Um. So this is another thing that, you know, in future was probably going to change, which is uh, that we, we could, I could split these tracks out into their own classes, but that feels like a lot of busy work to do right now. So yeah. Um, yeah. Plus, there's, there's the fantastic thing that I, I really, really want to see go ahead that we actually have data-driven tracks. Yeah. So track position uh, sorry track imagery how they're drawn and pathing is loaded in at um runtime yeah so we can add yes. custom tracks oh yeah do no, funky things pl plugins and extensions are a must i mean self-respecting <laughs> 2d train game doesn't have that. <laughs> a plug in and add-in engine oh yeah got to cater for the modding scene i mean that's what we're really here to here uh, to do that's the bit i actually want to write <laughs> the drawing <laughs> eh, you have yeah to write yeah that. that's exactly it um cool so 
I mean, so it's gonna be yeah, that one. Yeah, I mean, so I know my direction, which is good. Mm -hmm. So, what I really want, do we have one of these that I can steal? Yes. What are you? Uh, what are you thinking here? I am going to put in individual methods <clears throat> for each one, because. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. But you mean flow? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Welcome to my exceptions. Okay. Um. Cool. So now we can theoretically implement a move yep. for each one of these. And in the meantime, each one of these can actually Oh, was it missing one? I, I just yeah, I'm also laughing because the theory that we can both work at the same time, but the reality is that when someone else types, you just sit there going, Oh, what are they doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Um I think that should be exhaustive. And if it's not Yeah, anyway. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's definitely got to be a better way to do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm in this wrong thing. <clears throat> but, yes. Theoretically, that means both of us can write all of these at exactly the same time. Yeah. I'll do, I'll I mean, do the another. Work. Yeah. If we get another, like, seven, uh, six people on the stream, then... <laughs> Everyone can write one each. It's fantastic. Oh, see. According to Twitch, there's five people in uh, in chat. They're just not chatting. Oh, really? Oh, nice. no. Cross. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. How do we do cross tracks? Uh, no. Tracks? So we don't actually care at this point about cross tracks. Okay. I don't care. Yeah. So we literally just pass it the exact same way because the fact that we're on a cross track only matters to the movement code for the cross track. And because we have a relative position and angle, we actually know what track we should be looking at. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. So, like, I was going to say, you know, when when angle is zero, then don't yeah. even need to do that. Okay. What we basically do is we um <laughs> we could be really cheeky and in the horizontal, we snap our angle and then call yeah. move horizontal or move vertical. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is this is the first thing that we need to do. Oh, so, so, we, so we can actually just have one method for it. right. That's what we're saying. Yeah. Cool. So move horizontal. So the first thing we need to do when we're on a horizontal track is we either need to be heading one direction or the other. Yes. So our angle is presumably so... ninety or minus. Oh no, ninety or one eighty. Yeah, ninety or yeah. Um, all right. Now this is the fun thing because what direction is zero degrees in zero in this is, world? So zero is up. So right is ninety. If we're heading to the right, it's ninety, and if we're heading to the left, <laughs> gotcha. it's two two seventy. Although I mean cool. minus ninety should work, but at the current code, it's ninety and yeah, two seventy. Awesome. So we actually have the <clears> unit <throat> circle rotated ninety degrees. Um, so. <laughs> We're actually going to get to a point where all of the signs and causes are going to have to be swapped. Um, but that's all right because I never get them right in the first place anyway and I always I, swap them over. I, so I type in numbers. Good. I type in numbers. Yeah. I run it. I see what skier draws. Oh, okay. That's what you want. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Sounds, <laughs> sounds good. So theoretically, angle equals angle mod. That's not, um, how, you, that's not how you do tuples. <laughs> no, I want this one. Okay. Oh, and name them exactly the same. It's so much more fun that way. No, you need capital letters on your return because they act like properties. <laughs> <God>. um, <laughs> so we're saying that it can either be 90 or 270. Yes. Cool. So angle equals angle minus 90 mod 180. Plus 90. 
Uh, don't at me if there's a simple way to do that. I w- wait. What are you doing? Why? Why? Why is angle? Oh, okay. You're setting it to ninety if it's not ninety. Uh, and yes, and that yes. should be okay. Div one eighty, so it's only ever yeah zero or one. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. oh, do I want to do it that way? Um, no, I don't want to do it that way. So I, I, I would have gone if angle less than ninety. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, we can do that. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm a simple man. Um, so, so yeah. So this is for when we're approaching the horizontal from a curve. Is what you're thinking? Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Um, so, so, can we? I'm just going to say snap angle. Yeah. And I'm going to get on with the rest because otherwise we'll be procrastinating with that all yeah. night. Snap it to the nearest so, ninety or two seventy, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we now say if. Angle is keep typing. Ignore me. Hey. <laughs> um. So where are we? If we're yeah less than you were writing exactly what I was about to write, which is oh. why I was really confused for a second there. Um. That's alright. So we want to say. I think you should forget that move on. So that's why. Totally. Um, so. I'll, I'll delete my line. No, that's all right. So if it's that way, then our relative left needs to move. What are this we going to do? Needs to um, go up because we're moving to the right. Just wait. Say that again. If we are, if our angle is ninety, we're moving to the right. Yep. So our left. We're moving to the right, so our left increases. Yes. Cool. Goes up. So. And so it goes up do... by distance. Yeah, that's. Yep. So. Once again, I'm going to write it all out, and then we're going to jump yeah, back to it. Totally. So we add on. We add on our distance. <clears throat> yep. So we, we leave, move across. We leave top alone. Yep. If relative left is now greater than 0.1 mm-hmm. so we've moved further than we've expected to mm-hmm. then our relative left that we're going to return now equals 0. 1.1 f okay but first we need to return the distance so relative left minus So let's think about this. We get, we're at zero and we get half in. So we add on half and we're all good. We're at half and we get two in. So that goes, we then go we above that. Yep. Which means we're now at 2.5. Mm-hmm. We now minus this, which mm-hmm. is the 1.5, mm-hmm. meaning that we still have we're at one. 1.5 left to travel. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's that's distance left to travel this round. This this tick. Yes. So that that assumes a full cell. Um, what do you no, mean? One Should... assumes a full cell. Well, one is so... a full cell in this representation, right? We're representing it between. Yep. So I what, think that makes sense. The, uh, the so, setting setting relative left doesn't matter, but yeah, we can. Yeah. So the biggest. What are you unsure about? I think we're. I don't think the math's right. Let's find out by running what? code. By running code. Totally. Well, either that or or we write some tests. But well, that sounds boring. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's do it this way. So, the float left is mm-hmm. 1.0f minus relative left. Let's call it to go. 
So that is how far we have between us and the right edge of the cell. So we can now say if distance is smaller than the length we have to go, then we just simply say relative left equals, oh, sorry, relative left plus equals our distance, and our distance is now zero. So if we can travel the entire distance within this cell, we move it mm -hmm. and we say we're done. Mm -hmm. Else if we can't qualify, yeah. if we can't travel the entire distance, yep. we say that the distance left to go minus to go. So we say we've traveled the amount that's left within this cell and our relative left is now 1.1f. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That makes more sense. Yep. And it then means on the other side, and I'm going to do the exact same thing and we can refactor it later. Mm -hmm. Our to go is actually just our relative left, e.g. how far we've moved from the left end of the cell in. So if our distance is smaller than the amount, then we can actually minus the distance. Mm -hmm. Distance equals zero and we're all good. Mm -hmm. Else, distance equals the amount to go, relative left is negative 0.1f. So, so at that point... The interesting thing here is if these were ref parameters, yep. we could do top, um, we could do vertical movement the same way by just... By just swapping. Uh, swapping yep. relative left to relative top. But anyway. Yep. Or you, you can do it by wrapping it. You just have to deconstruct yeah. and reconstruct. Oh, yeah, deconstruct. Um, yes, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we now return all of that, basically. Yeah. That. Which would be a really nice way if you could just, like, say, oh, yeah. remove all the return all all these guys. Them. Yep. Cool. So move horizontal is now implemented. Well, should we try it? I'm never going to move vertical, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we probably should try it. So we move within there. That's fine. That's fine. We've got that. Um, yeah, let's try it. So we need to do some more changes there. Uh, this test requires a game board. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I don't get intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Um, so cool. we need to do some more work in our train renderer though, because at the moment it just draws them in the middle of the cell. True. Uh, which should be as simple as. Uh, let me. All right. So we get. Let me just do, let's extract some parameters here. Can I do that? She's a local. Yeah. Cool. Um, oh, All right, where okay. are you? How do I, how do I Oh, sorry. You? I, I forgot you can't see my screen. I'm in train renderer. Ah, train renderer, gotcha. Yes. So train renderer currently has this X and Y. Now, yep. we should just be able to make this track parameters dot cell size times train dot relative left, correct? Correct. And yeah. that will give you... Yeah. Yeah. Because yep. we've already offset with the translate. So that yep. got a lot simpler. Um, and then... That... The other thing that needs... That can happen is the rotation can actually be moved into this code. Yes, uh, actually, I need width to be still a factor. So I was about to say, if I take out rotate degrees from here, yep. do you reckon you can put it into yours? Uh, not without copying and pasting, but I can. <laughs> <laughs> here, I'll give you. It. Oh, we haven't really. I guess we've decided that um, rotate is in degrees. That's right. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. Yeah. 
Oops. Awesome. Marvelous. All right. So, does that look right? Um. All right, let's try it. Go. Because I can't. Running. You, you need Fingers to run. crossed. Yep. I don't Building. know. I wonder what happens if I do press play. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely the longest I've ever used live share for, so that's good. At least I'm yep. trying something. All right. I also just realized at the top there, <clears> invitation link up the board. Send it to anyone you trust. Yeah. It's, it's I don't trust anyone. It's been there the whole time, and I'm glad you just noticed. Awesome. So now, now you have a 50-50 chance of this train going the way yeah. you want it to go. There Actually, it no, no, we sorry, we have we have implemented both ways. Okay, you can click it again. So angle is oh, uh, so it's it's moving. It's just moving way too fast. So I put on a brake. And oh. uh, maybe you need to click Will on the train. No? I don't know how this works. <laughs> That's interesting. So, yeah. okay, it's moving too fast, the angle is wrong, and the train looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, I'd call that a success. <laughs> I mean, what else could you want? Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you take out the rotate from the train's renderer? Or, did you, or is it um, doing two rotates now? No, no, no. So I took out the other rotate. Okay. I just added 90 degrees because I thought the unit circle would be off. But yeah, there you go. Oh, I missed it. Ah, cool. All right. So that didn't work there. Although, yeah, yeah so relative top. Um, oh, we didn't oh, initialize. Relative top needs to be 0.5 th for a horizontal track. And we didn't. So um, the other thing is we're moving <clears> one <throat> equivalent. Or we're moving one equivalent cell per frame. Uh, um, not per frame, per timer tick, which per should, timer tick, which is yeah. not that fast. Okay, it's going faster so, than it was. But we so we didn't initialize rotate. Uh, we didn't initialize relative top. Oh no, sorry, I'm moving ten You're times. Moving ten that. times. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what I actually wanted was that. <laughs> yeah, we do that like multiply by the speed adjustment factor, and then we can adjust. We yep. can adjust that, which was kind of the idea. Alright. Alright, at least we know why it was jumping all around the screen. Um, <laughs> you know why. It still looks like it's slightly off, so. Alright, let's draw that, put a train down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've gone too slow. It is moving pixel by pixel. It's granular trains. I mean, that was the aim. We got there. Yeah. Hey, we just need that speed adjustment factor. We'll speed up the train yeah. and we're good to go. Uh, this is where I get out my surface dial and we hook it up to a physical. <laughs> Definitely. Looks very good. God, that's really still quite slow, isn't it? Is it jerky or is that the streaming from me? No, into... it's it's jerky. It's uh, step, step, step. Well, step, I mean, look at the step, FPS. Step, the step. FPS is not stable at all. No. This is where you need you you might need to bring in delta t, which I've avoided <laughs> deliberately. <laughs> <clears throat> That's right. I mean, theoretically, if we speed this up a little bit, I mean, it should yeah. look half decent. Yeah, no, fine. No, I think that looks great. Um, we just need to figure out why is it always drawing at the top of the cell? Because no one ever set relative top. Oh, true. We forgot to fix that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we didn't do snapping or anything like that either. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> There's a the train. Awesome. So, that's where... Uh, wherever our track has gone to, we go. So do we? Yeah, do we set it in here? I guess we did. Yep. 
Makes sense. Uh, whoops. That. Because we always want that to be there. Yeah, for a horizontal track. Yep. But we maybe need to set that. Uh, we'll put the train down. Uh, no, that should be fine. Because we want it for every step that it takes on a horizontal to always be there. So if it comes off a corner at slightly different relative top, um, the like track will snap like it. Like if it's going too fast and it kind of swings out. Yep. Yeah, so oh, did you see that initial thing there? Yeah. Yeah. So. <clears throat> well, I mean, the other thing we can totally do, and I'm not sure if this is cheating, but we go to our train and we say that it always starts in the middle of its cell. Yeah, that, that'll work. <clears throat> Which, I mean, it's kind of what we want anyway when you're clicking on a cell. There is a method that sets the direction initially, so it could also do it anyway. Middle makes sense. I mean, we, we need to set the angle as well. <clears throat> on a vertical track, this go. would probably appear horizontally and snap <sighs> vertically. Very that train nice. looks amazing. Look at it go. Does it look too low? My math is off. Eh, it's fine. Hey. That looks awesome. Perfect. Now... The other thing that we needed to, and this is a, um, so what we don't have in here is, um, yeah, what we don't have in here is a reaction to the next cell not existing, which is another factor. So uh, at the moment, well. Oh, yeah. So it stops before it falls off the edge rather than falling yeah, off the edge. Yeah. That's okay. We can do and, that too. Right. Yeah, and that's a factor, and this is why we might want to change move a little bit. It's a factor of we're returning the absolute relative left and relative top rather than delta. Um, move in reality shouldn't actually say where the train ends up, but should specify the delta of where it should be, hmm. meaning can, then it doesn't automatically apply before it's checked. Ah, that's what we say. So, yeah. So our train is now responsible for actually saying, hey, can I actually move here? Is this a valid next position? Although we're still doing, our points are still in the middle of the train. So even without that delta, if you just use a point ahead of the train yeah. to do collision detection, yeah, the same thing you should do. Yeah, so what we basically... And yeah. This is a dirty way of doing it, but hey... It'll yeah, work. If that plus that. Yep. What doesn't it like about that? Um, cannot mix declarations and expressions on the left hand side. Oh, okay. Really? Don't worry about it. Don't worry That's about that later. So I'm going to delete depressing. train direction because we don't use it anymore. Yep. Cool. I can hear your 3D printer just. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, close the door. No, oh no, crazy. it might have been the dishwasher. It might have been the dishwasher actually. Oh, okay. The kitchen's just there, so <laughs> cool. So now Now we have yeah, so... horizontal tracks. Yeah. Yep. Um, so they'll, but they'll stop, like way too early. Yeah. So just wait. This column is. There's a, a question on the chat: Is the train moving further yeah. when the FPS is higher? Probably is, but Dave can be? answer that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there are two separate loops: a render loop and a game loop. But um, yeah, they're not reliable. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm not I'm not I can't even guarantee they don't overlap. <laughs> we don't get two render loops firing at once, is it? Yeah. Um 
Cool. Yeah. So, um, and then. Uh, wait, that's. Cool. Hang so on. So we can now. <clears throat> if. Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry. Worked it out. Which, I mean, uh, it just, it just looked not... like you were snapping back to the start of the thing, but it's relative, so it's all cool. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, you're right. Um, the question is the wrap this in detection logic is interesting because mm. technically we can't detect at this point in time because we're a train with a reference to only a single track. Um, that's true, but that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> cool. I, I so, mean, th this whole move method could return those values as well or could return the new column the row it wants to be at and the game can, yep. yeah 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 and the true yeah and the, once again we wouldn't pass in the speed adjustment factor we'd actually mm -hmm. pass in some sort of time and would minus the time and all that jazz but yeah anyway yeah. cool we're at least moving horizontally should we do vertically yes let's do vertically awesome I will so Oh, I'm just moving all sorts of code. Oh, really? Yeah, so many things use direction. <laughs> I, hope, I hope it's not needed anymore. I don't think so. No. I don't think so either. But I kind of don't trust the find all references that I did just because of live share, because yeah. it showed me one reference. <laughs> it was definitely more than that. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no i'm gonna i'm gonna duplicate code rather than trying to be smart um good idea yeah so we always want to snap left Um, now we want to say if angle is smaller than 90 or angle is greater than 270. What's our buffer because of that? Circles. What's up? Well, if we're coming in, like, we're well, coming in, like, I, w I wonder if it should be, you know, less than 45 and greater than... 315 or something, just in case. <laughs> and theoretically, I should be able to set this to. <clears throat> yeah. Like and that'll give us also our snapping, angle snapping at the same time. Perfect. Yeah, but see that? But... Um, yes, okay. Because for move horizontal and move vertical, we could only ever go two yeah, directions. You'd be, yeah, you'd be close to it, yeah. Yep. Um, and yes, the game loop needs to multiply everything by a time delta since last game loop. If I remember correctly, yes, you do remember correctly. It was delta t that Dave mentioned before. Yes. So rather than assuming that a game loop is a singular step, we represent the delta between two game loop executions, which will be the next step <clears throat> after this, but we're going to get minimum viable product working first. Yeah. Theoretically, your, fingers crossed. Time your timers. Don't trust your timers. No, never trust a timer. Um, cool. So we basically say relative top, relative Stop. top, relative top. No. Undo, undo, mm. undo. Let, let, pair programming. Here we go. Click in, okay. rel click in relative left on, no, 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 so on line 57. Also, well, that should probably be, huh. All right, so click on. Click, click yep. inside there, yep. Press Alt, Shift, and full stop. And again. Yep. And press it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Okay, now. Uh oh, too far. I've gone press, too many. Press Alt yep. Shift comma to go back. Oh, there we go. No, no, you didn't want the yep. first one. <laughs> okay. No, I don't. Oh. 
We'll get there. Wait, wrong one. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, what are we? Control shift dot no. Alt shift. Alt shift. There we go. Yep. Don't want to yep. zoom in and out. Awesome. And then now that you have multiple, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. Multiple curses. What is this? <laughs> and look how easy that was, and how in the end it yeah, took just as long as. <laughs> oh, you. Uh, um, except I should not have done the one. bottom one. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Done. It's that, it's that easy, folks. Right? Ship it. Yep. Just rename. No, and I can't just rename. It. Can't rename. That's the. <laughs> we have build errors. Um, I uh, can't see my error list. Uh, oh, we don't is... have a set best direction. I uh, don't. Yeah. See, this is where my error list doesn't show that error. <laughs> my error list shows. <sighs> yeah, that's the only, that's the only one my error list showed. <laughs> yep. Uh, <clears throat> all right so oh. now we should be able to draw two completely separate tracks that don't connect but <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing i'm so happy right now i i couldn't have done that if you'd asked me to on purpose yeah i know oh whoops we can't have um curves no That's... not yet not yet Whoa. what how did we break vertical <laughs> I mean horizontal. All right, so our angles are <laughs> correct, but that is amazing. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, How do we break horizontal? Cool. So I reckon I'm looking at it, and there's no changes. Is it the changes you did to the move method? Possibly. We did change that yeah. without testing. Yeah. And we haven't done a commit in like how long? Oh, forever. Oh, in fact, I can't even push directly to your um repo. No, so. we need to. We need to PR. Oh, okay. Here, there we go. So it was angle, angle snapping. Um, so theoretically, I mean, hey, angle snapping in the in the. <laughs> Woo! It's <laughs> good laugh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Well, the train renderer can just draw it differently. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, uh, so, so how I think angle our snapping... angles are really off. So, what I think should happen is this should actually be down here. This should be oh. up here. Really? <laughs> yep. I was, I was looking at the code that I wrote last time. Oh, there. no. So this this is correct, because when we're talking about drawing, it doesn't care about any of the actual track directions. It, it's refer it's, um, the, oh. it's the proper unit circle. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, that's, mm, that's interesting. Yeah. So yeah, we don't okay. care about your track direction angles. Yes. Um, <laughs> we're using the actual proper unit circle here. What's wrong with my angles? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yes, because we're rotating. Yeah, we're rotating yeah. from a non-rotating um, point. I need to erase that because I don't want to throw it null. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> once again, I'm happy with that behavior, but <laughs> how does this happen when you just changed angles? <laughs> That is amazing. <laughs> so good. So the, the the question is like if I just uncovered these right. um What if we rebrand? They're not trains. Yeah. They're just always if, if I just remove setting the angles, what um what do I get? If we just draw them as squares, I mean we've solved this problem. Oh yeah, totally. <clears throat> I mean, just completely ignore the fact that we're moving into boxes directly next to them. But... It's, a, it's a box game, not a train game. What? I, I don't understand how the ankle did that. <laughs> oh, okay. So I do know a little bit. Um, what is our? What is the center point? What are we actually rotating around? Oh. Um. um 
can we draw a dot at z- or a box at zero zero? Yeah, you didn't specify a center point in your rotate degrees. So I think you removed that. I think that it sounds like used, me. did it used to have it in trains renderer? I feel like it did. Probably. Um right click. You do it in line blames. Yeah, right click and go source control down the bottom. And compare with unmodified. Uh, or, yeah, all that. Yep. Yeah, so rotate. Oh, this. yeah. Yeah, pass the center point. Yep. That would probably okay, make that... a difference. Yeah, that might help. <clears throat> cool. I still... mm. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, that would work because that would that would rotate everything 90 degrees. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Now, before I do anything else, I'm just going to check does this still work? Ab- absolutely. Check everything just in case. Yep. That works. Okay. Awesome. So... Oh, and you still commented out there. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Perfect. Right. Sure, that's one way to describe it. Yeah. All right. So the next thing went, I just want to purely work with move vertical. So I'm going to say the angle is either going to be 90 or 0. And we may need to swap them. No, I still think 90 and 0 is right and left. 90 and 0? No, that shouldn't be 90 and 0. That should be oh. 90 and 270. 90 and 270. Yes, I still think that's right and left. Yep. But change my mind, as they say. Yeah, because theoretically 90 should be up because 0 on the unit circle is to the right. So if we, mm-hmm. yep, that makes perfect. Total sense. That makes absolute sense, um, because we probably haven't swapped something here. Relative top. Top. It, it all looks nice. <clears throat> I really don't understand how relative left is changing. Relative left is the first promo. That's being returned as the first promo. Like everything looks right to me. Hmm. Cool. <clears throat> All right. So relative left and every. Oh. Um. I think I might know what it is. What is our um, what was it game board? What was calling our move on our train? Yeah, it's in there. Game board. It's a new game board. I think it's new. If you look in the call stack window. You left new top. No, that looks right. Yeah, that looks okay. Step through it. Let's find out. Yeah. Cool. All right, so here, our relative top, we've moved down. Good. So, so which keep, is fantastic. So step through this. Relative left, left shouldn't change, but it is somehow. So we've now gone oh. into the cell. Oh, so with maybe, that much distance left, so which maybe, was... Maybe it is a rendering problem. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it's a rendering issue. Because those numbers look right. So then we have distance 201 left, which brings us to there. Four. Yeah, that looks like that's moving... Yeah, correctly no. through the cells. Yeah, well, relative left isn't changing. Yeah. So if visually it's moving left, that just means it's rendering problem. Um, X is cell size by relative left. Y is cell size by relative top. 
So, unless it's the rotate. No, that should be fine. I agree. Are we saving and restoring? Uh, we were. Let's have a look. Yes, we save, we translate, we restore. All right, so the first time it runs, angle is that, so angle is zero, which technically means that angle is 90, mm -hmm. which means that technically all this is wrong Fine. because that should be... So if angle is 90, that should theoretically be going up, not down. Mm. Just okay. trust my madness for 30 seconds. And then 270 is now down. Or does the... We may have to Google the unit circle here. I forget which way it goes. We can just draw one. No, I actually think we may have been around the right way the first time. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's moving point, up. So it's yeah, pointing it was, down but moving up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But it still doesn't explain why it's visually <laughs> moving from right to left. We remove. Left top angle distance. Oh, wait, hang on. We are... Relative left, relative left. We are rotating. Yeah, so no, we're adjusting the top. But then we rotate 90 degrees. So that now is left to right. Oh. No, it shouldn't... We should be rotating. Yes, you're right. In our rendering. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we've got our we've got our order of operations out of order. Um. All right. So here we move to the correct cell. Cell. Yep. We then call render. Yep. Render then should theoretically, and if we do this another way, mm -hmm. Translate we should then line. move to, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, then rotate. So now we're at the point we can yep. then rotate, which means that, well, that negative needs to stay there. Yeah. That. Okay, that makes sense. Ish. Go. Cool. Ship it. <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't come on and say, well, we're going to write tests. Because this is oh, much no. more fun. <laughs> yeah. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but the compiler is getting in on our uh, farcical nature of things. Okay, that's almost. Yeah. It's better than it was. Yep. <clears throat> So, 20 sounds right because the cell is 40 wide. Why is that yep. jumping into the next cell? <clears throat> oh, we've translated, but then now our rotate around the middle is oh, wrong. Oh, correct. <laughs> we should actually be rotating around ourselves at that point in time. Uh, no. We still want to rotate around the middle, but the middle is now some fraction off. I don't think we should rotate around ourselves. Oh. I think this is going to jump around. Oh, it's not. Damn it. Why not? <laughs> because we're the center of the universe. 
Oh, sorry, yes, we are rotating. Yes, yeah, sorry, we're transcending the center of the train. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Excellent. This is exactly um, exactly the sort of farcical stream I was expecting. I'm glad we got there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Would you like to do some more tracks? I'd like to do some corners. So I think we need to do corners, yeah. drive around. I think we definitely yeah. need to do corners, yeah. All right. <clears throat> I just so, want to, let's I just want to I... point out before we continue that the compiler is yep. getting in on the fun because you see those error lists there where it says throw value may be null. Let's yeah. just, just just look at them. They could be null. We're not sure. <laughs> but you never <laughs> know. Possibly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, I've got a macro that redefines null at compile time. It's <laughs> yeah. makes sense. It's handy. It's good. Yep. It's good. It's good. Fine. We'll be nice to it. <laughs> yep. Much better. Better. Um, All right, corners. Cool. Let's get some right. pie. Yes. <laughs> so, which corner should we do first? We are going to do up left. Left up should be our first one. Okay. <clears throat> so left up would be uh, how many degrees? Let me just uh, be. So this should be zero to ninety. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, the unit circle goes no, a left, different way. Left up would be. Wouldn't that be two seventy? What's the most complicated diagram I can pull up here? No, but that has the opposite to the way I'm thinking. Oh, I'm so confused. This is amazing. <laughs> Uh, hang on a second. Let me see if I can do this. Or is that just wait? Is that train? Oh, you can't see my screen, can you? No. Uh, I think our train may be traveling backwards. Now no one can see your head. <laughs> so. Oh, sorry. Um, no, 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 it's it's my fault. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a circle. Yep. No, I'm not. I can't draw a circle. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna show everyone your head again. <laughs> Give up on that idea. Yeah, circle is too hard. You'll get around no, to it eventually. If we're moving left, <laughs> thank you. If we're moving left up, yep. and up is ninety. Yeah, theoretically right we zero. want left down. Well, between zero so, and ninety is right up, isn't it? I'm just going to program move left up, and then we're going to refactor <laughs> it to be whatever it actually is. That's that's how I would be. I'll call this left up. Oh, oops, it's left down. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah. This is your so, but I'm fairly sure this is right. Up. Yeah. So the way <laughs> the way that I did it before, which we're going to resort to paint here because <clears throat> hey, excellent. So we've got a track like this, and the train is at a point on the track. So you even drew can, right up. We can deal that with that point as oh. an angle. Wait, maybe you could draw a lift up. I don't even know. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember what the emails <laughs> mean. Yeah. So from that, we can find the angle that it's at. Yes. We then <clears throat> move along here. Yes. Along the, the, distance the distance we need to. Yep. In the angle. In the direction that is closest to perpendicular yes to, to this yep yeah which is at the direction of our train mm -hmm. which that should the then give train. at this point we have mm -hmm. theta 2 which is that yep and then the angle of the train is um perpendicular to theta 2 yes Cool. Now, I, since I've done that part, that's the hard math part. If you just want to convert that into code. <laughs> sure, no worries. Yep. <laughs> uh, pi r squared yep. divided by four. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly it. Well, I think, so we need to take some things into consideration, like um, so we need 
the radius of the circle, which in this case will be 0 0.5. Yep. Because your tracks are in the exact middle of the cell at either side. Ish. Ish. Cool. Plus, awesome. plus or minus one yep. pixel. <laughs> I hope this is absolutely thrilling for everyone on the stream to watch to watch two people struggle at math. Um, yes, this, everyone's, Dave everyone's not taking struggle notes. at math, me just, Yeah. No, no, I'm just pretending to understand a word you're saying. <clears throat> cool. So we've got ourselves our radius. Yes. Um, cool. So. Um, Let me just bring up an issue here because I think you did write this out okay probably um, oh no that's track length is pi times cell size divided by four yep yeah that's track length not position all right All right, so we want we want the angle from x and y. Why is my high school geometry failing me? Soccer. So, pretty much. Um, so in this case, our float angle should be the math dot. A tan um, two, so A tan is not segment aware, so A tan two, passing in the Y and the X. Yes, that makes sense because I believe math dot A tan it just expects. Yep. Um, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Awesome, I'm remembering stuff, Dave. This is fantastic. Good. I'm not. Awesome. But it's okay. <laughs> I, I'm older than you, so I'm allowed to forget. <laughs> oh, I just realized why um, 90 degrees is down, not up. Because it's Y and X. It's well, not Y and X. It's top and left. Uh, you lost me. So. You, yeah, so, so we're, we're doing left and top, and it should be top and left. No, no, no. So that, that's fine. Um. It's more a traditional Cartesian plane. Y going <clears throat> up goes up, but yes. relative top is distance from the top. Oh, yes. So, yeah, yeah. so the unit circle is correct. It's yes. just our Y is inverted. There so instead of it going that way, it goes that way, which makes so much more sense. And <laughs> huzzah. Huzzah. Awesome. <laughs> That that may be like the one the one win of the night, because um, <laughs> that was going to be annoying me till the end of days. Um, sure, count. that could be a double for the sake of it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do that. <clears throat> awesome. So. We now know what angle we're at. Mm -hmm. We now need to make a decision whether we're going one direction or the other direction. Oh, that's a good point. Yes, because this... Yep. Yeah, so where I was getting confused before we left it up was this is not a train direction, this is a track. Yep. I should probably call it orientation, just so it's less confusing. <laughs> Although we now only have one direction. Oh. Hey. <laughs> um, yes. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, it, so it's still it's still based on the angle, though. We have angle is going to be less less than ninety or greater than ninety. Correct. So this is where we need to figure out um, and where does it loop. So we now need to figure out whether we're heading this way. Yes, but that's the, if the train angle is less than 90. 
or this way. If it's less than 90, no, we're but going because, up. Because when we're up here... Yes. Oh, I suppose if the train angle that way is... Well, it's yeah, we can do it that way. Less than, yeah. less than 100, like, I mean, it's close enough to... Yeah. Less than or equal to 90, yeah. Yep. Yep, we'll go that way. Then, technically, do we need this? Maybe. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Um, so, we go one direction, otherwise we go the opposite direction. Now, to move along a circle at distance, it has something to do with pi. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you need to calculate the arc distance, right? Yes. Um, That's my contribution. I'd just like to state that that is the end of my contribution. <laughs> <laughs> so, the... Trying to do as much of this as I can from memory. So the you don't have to circumference of a circle is two pi, correct? Yeah, uh, two pi r. Yes. Two pi r. Is it? Is it like? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The circumference of a circle is six. <laughs> yes. Yeah, fixed value of six. Sorry, we'll never be able to scale this whatsoever. <laughs> All right. So the circumference is 2 pi r, and we need to move a distance out of the circumference. So we can say the circumference equals 2 times math.pi times the radius. Yep. Yes, that should be right. Sure, you can be a double today. I don't mind. Um, so we now want to move a particular distance out of that. Is that correct? Yes, and if our distance is 0 to 1, it's just a percentage of it's just yes yeah all right yes yeah I think that's right yeah so if distance is 0.5 it's just 0.5 times c yes that seems too easy it does <laughs> Exactly, there's not enough math involved in that. But... Yeah, no. Oh, well, I mean, then we've got to translate that. That's arc distance, and then we've got to translate that back to yeah. say top and left. Yeah. Cool. So that then. Just wait, then we divide that on 2 pi to figure out how far around the circle it actually needs to travel. Mm -hmm. yeah, which that technic yep, which that technically cancels out the 2 pi. That's true. So is it actually just radius times distance? No, because oh. <laughs> that seems even more even more wrong. But, I know. But yes. Yes. That sounds right. Are we it. just writing a proof right here? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. So, radius times distance is the change in angle that we want? Uh. Let's, let's give it a go. It's either going to work or fail horribly. Yeah. Um, and I'm not going to account for so edge going. of tracks here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So then, theoretically, 
relative top is now radius by math.sin of our new relative angle mm -hmm. on 2 pi, but this is 360. Because these all work in. Oh, we've got an issue here. Mm -hmm. Because we've been talking about. Oh, no, that's fine. Relative angle there is fine. Relative angle is in radians. We're adding radians. So it is just that. Oh, thanks. That's what I'm here for. Yep. Um, and we need to cast everything. Once again, that seems too, too simple. So is our angle just our relative angle? Uh, no, so it's 90 degrees to our relative angle. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, yeah, triangle versus... Depending on... Yeah. Yeah, depending on which way we actually are going. I'm just going to run that for a second. Cool. Yeah, I mean, the train will move. This point going right angle. Well, it, okay. it, yeah, it'll, it'll move to half of its, half of the corner. Instead of going the full way. We should really like pair program with a high school math kid. Um, I think that would be the best the best scenario here. Yeah. I should have put it closer rather than giving the, the lead up to it. <laughs> sure. Yep. Sure. sure. Yep. All right, put a break point. Go. Cool. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's still going. Ooh, that's a worry. All right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we are already 30% of the way into the track. That's fine that seems yeah. odd uh why that's just movement but we should have a whole lot of distance rather than being that far into the track because our um oh. yeah yes because our train should always be fixing it that's as that true Uh, let's worry about that later. It does seem weird though. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, that's very, very strange. Yeah. All right. So, so we're in here. Yep. Angle is so, zero. Fine. Angle is zero. Makes sense. It's going to be right. So... So we want oh, to move. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, there's something very not right there. Yeah. Alright. So we're that far in. Why are we executing this multiple times? Uh -oh. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, oh, because we're in a loop until distance is zero, yeah. and then it's subtracting distance. Yeah. Ah, so okay. that's, why, so, that's why the train disappeared, because it's stuck in a loop. But we yeah. should still be able to step through yeah. and check the values. All right. So that there is zero. That there is pi on two. So at the angle of relative to the top, we're at 0 0.5, which is there. And relative to the left, we're at 0 0.3, which is like there. That probably wasn't far enough across. So oh, the we, angle do we need to there is our one is, is point five zero two. Do we need to offset that because our, our radius is point five? Because the top being point five is actually the edge of our circle. Uh yes, we haven't. Yes, that is a very good point. We haven't actually adjusted the circle to anything. Yeah, we just said the radius. Yeah, yeah it's perfect. We just, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, that makes a lot more sense and why this was looking very simple. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. Oh, no, because we're in, we're in relation to zero, zero, which is here. So that's fine. Oh, okay. So we've got a cell that's here. Mm -hmm. That is. So that's zero zero. Mm -hmm. That's zero one. Just drag the window to the left a little bit. Oh yeah. That's it. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That is one zero. Mm -hmm. And that is one one. Our train is 0.5 like that our track yes our track is like that <clears throat> yep and our train has a position here mm -hmm. oh, let me put that in blue <laughs> and an angle of let's put that in orange that yes Makes sense. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we get the the angle, which is in relation to the zero zero corner here. Mm -hmm. So it's that line to the train, which gives that there, which is um, rel angle. Yeah. Cool. That's that's correct so far. So we've got that in code. So we've got our rel angle there mm -hmm. relative to top and left. Which will be that. Yes. We then have to have a look to say, is our train... If our train is from, let me figure, let me figure this out. So that would be ninety. Which in reality it shouldn't even be that. It should actually be that, which is forty-five. So if our train is traveling anywhere from 45 through to up this way, which on the other side of the circle would be here, so 45 plus 180, mm -hmm. so 225. So if our train is on this side, the angle is decreasing. If the train is on this side, then the angle is increasing. I think. Does that make any sense? The angle is in the relative angle? 
uh, as in or the angle. Yes. So the relative angle that we need to change. So let's make this. <clears throat> no, I, so think, I think you in... have that. Ah. That's greater than two to five. There, then the angle needs to diminish. Otherwise, it needs to increase. I'm going to say oh, C that's... is. Instead of doing anything fancy there, I'm going to say it's a fixed value. Okay. Um, so we're not actually going to move any particular distance. Yep. Our relative top and our relative left are now the changed relative angle. We then need to put in the actual distance. Uh, sorry, that should now work. But what we do need to do is update the angle to a perpendicular. Yes, and subtract off angle. the distance we've moved. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Um, It is going, I think, in very the right slowly. Direction. Yeah. All right. Once again, I think we've gone too low with the number. But I think it was the right direction. All right. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Looks good. So with any luck, it should actually pick up and now and go. Like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. <laughs> okay. Rename, well, rename that exactly enum. Yeah, rename that enum to U-turn and done. Yeah, done. Ship it. Cool. So. Okay. So the nice thing is we're actually managing to move up there. Yeah, we don't have the looping. The yep. moving into the next cell. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's just going, angle is going. So what it'll be is by the time it gets to the top here, hmm. it's still at a horizontal angle. Yeah. So it treats as if it's going down on yes. the vertical track. Yeah. So it's actually the vertical track that's get to, causing it to it be, do a U-turn. Yes. Yeah. So. And then when it does the U-turn, it moves in the right direction. So that's good it's good so theoretically if we want an angle that is perpendicular we just want the angle either plus 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees yeah so here in reality, once again, it depends on which direction we're going. Mm -hmm. Our angle should actually be the relative angle converted to degrees. Yeah. yeah. Inverted degrees plus 90. Mm -hmm. um, what's that complaining about? Probably an that F. wants it to be Because um. I think pi is a double. Oh, pi is a double, yeah. yeah. Cool. And then we say if That'll do. Um, and then here we want to be 
minus 90 degrees. And if we're smaller, let's add. Now there's probably a whole lot of, um. yeah, we can do that a whole lot nicer. I'm not sure if it should actually even be the responsibility of this to check whether the angle's in bounds, but. Yeah. <clears throat> Sure. <laughs> uh, Guess we got these around the wrong way. So theoretically, that should be corners. We just need to do a couple more modifications. Well, it's also... Do we want the constant speed? No, no. We need to fix that up. <laughs> that looks good though. Ho ho ho! And throw. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That looks very good. <clears throat> so the only thing we need to do here is say, technically, if relative angle is smaller than, um, in this case. Zero? Yes. Uh, then rel angle equals negative zero. That may actually not be small enough. You lost, you lost, angle you lost me. What's this one for? It's greater than. So it, it'll it make a lot more sense once we've actually got oh, the distance here sorted out. Yeah. We don't actually want it to go too far. Yeah. So you notice that when it jumped around, and in fact that should actually be very much a factor lower, we don't want it to jump too far around the circle. Yeah. We want it to just be over the line into the next cell. That's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Wishful thinking right there. Cool. So it shouldn't over snap. Nice. It, uh, <clears throat> it does start turning late. <laughs> yeah. Need to, yeah, think about that. But that's all right. Yeah. All right. So. Let's have a think about this. So the distance of distance to travel travel a full circle. Full circle worth of track is its circumference, yep. which is two pi r. Yep. So, we first want to figure out, hmm, I'm trying to figure, it. this is interesting because it may actually sit inside here rather than outside. So, float to go. here is the distance of relative angle on yeah relative angle divided by 2 times pi so that's how many degrees it has left to go in this cell yep so in this in this is it, is it is it supposed to be in this cell or for this circle, or is it before it gets to distance? I can't remember what we did below. Yeah, I can't remember what we did. Um, My digital has crashed, so I can't look. <laughs> that's all right. No, that's all right. This is correct. So we want the 
float to go is a ratio of how far of a circle is left mm -hmm. multiplied by our radius, which is 2 pi r, which it gets back to that being... Let's just write yeah. it out. Don't worry about yep. simplifying okay. it. All right. So it's that multiplied by the right. total distance of a service, which is 2 times math.pi times radius. So that should now give us, as a double, sure, yeah. that should give us now the total, the total distance mm. left within the circle. Right. So I can now say, do we, do we want distance left in a circle or just the quarter of a circle? Uh, so this is purely, so this is between well, here and zero. Percentage. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. yeah. So I want to say, if to go is greater than. Sorry, let's do this the other way around. If to go is smaller than the distance, mm -hmm. then we need to move x around. Actually, let's write that in there. So if distance is less to go. We need to travel along that, that distance. Yes. So in that case, relative angle loses well angle divided by 2 times math the pi times distance so I was about to say rearranging this mm. is to go on that Oh, sorry, yes, you're right. It's to go not distance. Yep. Times that. And no, you're correct. It is distance. Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. Sorry, the next one's cool. to go. Yep. Otherwise... Otherwise, if it can only travel distance, so in this case now, distance equals zero, yep. because we've traveled the entire thing. Yep. Here, we can simply say our relative angle is now that, because we've gone too far, yep. and our distance now equals our distance minus, minus to go. To, yeah. yeah, that makes sense means that disappears, that disappears. Oh, of course it wants everything to be a... Yeah. <laughs> Why can't we just all live in a double or float world and it just be the one thing and we never have to worry about it? And then that happens. Cool, now we have to do all of Do that this. for that, yep. <laughs> yep, and then... <clears throat> And we remove that. that. Cool. So these should now be used. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So exact same thing here. So the distance to go it's now. It's still the same. It's just going in the other direction. Yes. So it's actually not. Hmm. Is anyone in chat? No, no one in chat's farming in and no giving us the answer. No, 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 one's, no one's giving us the answer. <laughs> um, why, why, is, why would it be different other than we add on to relative angle instead of subtracting? We're still... Because what we technically care about now is, I mean, technically this should actually be... 
Where's that one minus though? Is it? 90 minus to go. Which in reality But to go is, is between 1 and 0, right? Math by on 2. I thought, I thought to go was between one, 1 and 0. Ah, so then it must be that. Because if we have a look at here, mm -hmm. so far we've got... Um, we're going to use <laughs> Maroon. Yep. Yeah. Um, with a... Where's the line size on this? That, yeah. So at the moment we've got that angle there. Yes. Which is, sorry, we've got this no angle. angle here, yep. which is between zero degrees in there. We actually want this here. As our to go. Which is the opposite angle. Oh, I see. Out to go. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So it's actually. Yes, I see. What you're so is that then not a tan two? So the distance between there and there is technically that distance. Well, that minus that, which that is our circumference on four. So we can do it that way and say circumference on four. Mm -hmm. And the distance to go now is actually that angle minus the other side of it. Yes, and I can simplify that a lot. Cool, which now means that I'm okay with that, that goes simplified. <laughs> <laughs> that goes that way. Yep. That goes that way. Yep. I oh, know that doesn't go that way. That goes to Oh no. There he is. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we reduce our distance and our angles here go like yep. that. Theoretically, anyway. Well, we can hope for the best. <laughs> I was about to say we're coming up on a two hour in the stream. We may actually yeah. just Yep. We might have to we might have to stop after this track. Oh no. Well, that happened. <laughs> well, I mean technically with the way it's jumping it is moving a correct distance. Yeah, it was just too far, but it was right. Yeah. Put the track on the vertical, see. But... Um how can we make that smoother? <clears throat> um where's your timer for the movement? Game board. Is it, isn't gambled. it just a problem? Are you sure? Are you sure it's not just a problem with the math, though? Isn't that like why would it be? If distance it shouldn't be. So. Oh, you mean even on the horizontal have... and vertical? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so then just change. Did we end up using the speed factor? Can't remember. Um, sorry, not game board. Yes, game. Ah, uh, game. Oh no! Sorry, right there. Game loop step. I was right. Game board. Game loop step. Cool, we pass in a speed adjustment factor of one, which is an int. Well, it's um, it. fine. <clears throat> we've got a timer here. It's fine. The timer it's is. It's... That's probably why. Oh, you want to match it to 60? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, ideally... that's definitely why those two constants exist to, to tweak those two yep. numbers. Because ideally it should be equal to or greater than the FPS, and this is going to fly along. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Speed adjustment factor can now be 10. And this goes down by that. Sounds good.
Uh, <laughs> ambitious. <laughs> Very much so. I think I just need to work on my mouse skills. Oh yeah. yeah. Four zooms oh. around that corner though. It's it still did. it still goes way faster around the corner. I think that that calculation is still wrong. Yeah. Slow it down even further. <laughs> it's, it's still faster around the car. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know there's something wrong with the math, but I want to see if it actually stops anywhere on the corner. Or oh, if I we, see. Um... Okay. Oh, if we're just skipping in Bali, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There we go. No, okay. Yeah, skipping. we're skipping it entirely. Yep. Right, so the math is not only wrong, it's also very wrong. Very wrong. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, so it's how much we're incrementing that distance or, or calculating yep. it to go. Yep. So in set, all right, let's write this out. So in 360, in 360 degrees or 2 pi. Mm -hmm. We travel two pi r, mm -hmm. which we can classify as c, which is distance times four, or well, like max distance times four, right? Because we're only talking about ninety degrees of track here. Yes. So so three hundred sixty degrees or two pi, we travel two pi r. Mm -hmm. To travel, to travel x, to travel x, we find the ratio of x to 2 pi r. So we figure out, so if we want to travel, if we want to travel 1. 1. Degree one. What units are we? Yeah. <laughs> I might call them meters. Let's just call them meters. Okay. So okay. A... So it's so it's so it's a it is a it is an actual linear distance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The ratio of so x to we two have... by r. That makes sense. Yeah. We so we have a cell that is one meter by one meter. Yes. And within there we have <clears throat> track. Mm -hmm. That is. A track of length two pi r divided two by pi r on four yes or pi r on two yes cool so so we want to travel a ratio of that yep. So we know the ratio, so we figure out x. Yeah. So, so pi r on two times distance. Pi r on two times distance, quite possibly, because we, that's a one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's in terms of uh, meters. Yeah. Not angle. Not angle. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's too late for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to stop here if it's... No, I've got to get this, got to get this. Um, and we've still got people watching, which is nice. <laughs> it's only one person, but yeah. Um, <sighs> but they're yelling at their computer, cause, maybe. So, oh, yeah, I don't know. totally. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, so so to travel two pi r, mm -hmm. we need to move three hundred and sixty degrees. Mm -hmm. To travel x. We need to move x on 2 pi r by 360. 
That makes more sense. Yes. That makes sense. Because that's the ratio of how much distance we want to travel in the circle yes. by that yes. to <clears throat> travel x radians. Mm -hmm. We need to move x on 2 pi r by 2 pi. Mm -hmm. That sounds right. Which, to simplify it, that. to... We're leaving these comments here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> to travel x radians, <clears throat> we need to move x on r. Yeah. Or x is the radius. Oh, sorry, yeah. r is the radius and x yeah. is the distance. Yeah. So the distance we want to go is... Relative angle is not the distance. No, it's not that. That is distance. Yes. So now... That doesn't happen in there. I need to leave that as is. It's here. Um, actually, let's do it this way. Angle to move. Mm -hmm. Angle to move is x on r. So we have yep. distance on radius. Yep. Cool. So is that to go correct still? I don't think so. Let's do this all from scratch. So we want to move that far. Yep. Our relative angle is that. Yep. So if relative angle minus, because I believe we're minusing here, yep. If relative angle minus angle to move mm -hmm. is smaller than zero. So we've traveled too far. Yep. Then so distance that, equals zero. And oh, sorry, that this one. Yep. That one there. Cool. Otherwise, relative angle. Mm-hmm. Minus equals angle to move. Mm -hmm. Distance is zero. Yep. That makes sense. Are oh, we lost to go? To go is how far we could move. Uh, yes, to get to the edge of our. Yeah. So in that case. Um, so to go is how far around our yeah. 2 pi r one four we are. We extended beyond. So in this yes. case, relative angle minus angle to move will be smaller than zero. Mm -hmm. So I go up. If you want to use it here. That's right. Angle over is technically the negative of all that, yep. or equivalent to angle of go You've already uh, changed relative angle there, so you don't need a line. Oh ah, yeah. Thank you. So that's how much we've got left. Mm -hmm. So we... that 
multiply that by the radius to get back to a distance. Correct. Hmm. Cool. Tomorrow, I will not understand this, but today. Yeah. Hmm. And the funniest thing is it's actually looking simpler. Yes, it is. Which is... So I remember going through a very similar thing for... TypeScript? Yeah. Yeah, the TypeScript version. Yeah, not surprised. <laughs> it's not going to let you build. Surely I have unreachable code. This is an error, not a warning. I think you got it as a warning. Ah, oh, damn it. <sighs> My standards are slipping. Yeah. Boy, those FPS have dropped now that you've increased that timer. Yeah. Also, that train is very slow now. Mm hmm Yes. Oh, <laughs> very nice. It just it just kind of jerks at that very last moment. Ship it. Um, Put another track on the vertical. See if it goes down correctly. Uh, whoops, that's another window I want. Uh, this will throw. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot you yeah. throw no. <laughs> Oops. Crash. Yeah. <clears throat> that's all right. Cool. Okay, so that's cool. So. So the same code again, just but, slightly different. But backwards, yeah. Yeah. So the angle to move is still yep. exactly the same. So this can technically live outside of there. Yep. So irrespective of which way it's going. I now want to know if the relative that angle plus, plus the angle of move yep. is greater. Than oh. Yes. Because we're in radians. Yeah, I'm glad you can remember all that. <laughs> if it is, then we want to set this to that plus mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. The angle over, I believe, is still that, which means that this must be wrong, query. Um, hmm. Angle to move minus relative angle. That, yeah, that. I don't know. It does seem like that must be wrong, but. Drum roll. Hey. Ship it. <laughs> <laughs> Derail. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so angle angle over is a little bit aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. So if it's bigger than that, oh then we technically need to minus yeah. pi on two. Yeah. So this is this should be that plus that minus no, the prime two, yeah. Yep. Yeah, is, this is actually a really interesting spot to leave it because the challenge is to understand this code <laughs> next time. Well, and yeah. next time is also potentially. I'm up the way, so just to add to the challenge, <laughs> I, I didn't jump as far. It didn't jump as no. far. In this way, it still yeah. does that. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And then... <sighs> why Why is that? So that... Yeah. So... And this is where we get... <sighs> I've tried to be smart here, even though we do have a lot of magic numbers, mm-hmm. in that this can be applied to anything. Any direction, yeah. Any Any direction. Um, what I was trying to get to with these relative angles is you could actually just pass in a an offset or mm. offset the entire thing, meaning yes. that you'd just be able to use the one bit of code over and over again. We can actually just replace this with a jump X into the next cell. Yeah. And that that's it. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, we just end on 0.5 and left yeah. to zero. You know? Yeah. It's, it's it feels like it's close. Um, I mean, the other question that I just really want to see very quickly is our calculation for yeah. distance actually mm-hmm. too big? So, does it look at when it's in there? So, distance there is that tiny amount which is fun hey you gotta love float rounding fun yes um so it's there why am i why do i have multiple instances of this what why is f10 jumping around oh time is a triggering in the background <laughs> Uh, that's annoying. Oh, okay. Because you made the timer so much more aggressive. Yeah, that's yep. more likely to happen. Definitely. Oh, that's a pain. Um, game board. Game board does it? Yep. Uh, Just stop, stop it at the start. Oh, I was going. <laughs> I was. I was going to lock it, but no, just stop the timer and start again. The end. Cool. If you lock it, they'll just queue up and it's your <laughs> when you finish. No, I, I was going to lock a ball to um. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Because we don't have um, semaphore slims. Yeah. My favorite abusable component. All right. Okay. So our distance to begin with is zero, zero, <laughs> 001. Yep. We're trying to move 0.2 degrees. Yep. God, those numbers are so tiny. It's really hard to actually work out. Yep. So distance now should be less than that, and it is. Hmm. So then our relative top becomes... Five, that's about right. Relative left should be very close to zero, which is already... (laughs) That's not right. Why not? We're leaving on the horizontal, so we should be... Oh, no, that's right. Yeah. I think that's right. And, and angle's 180. Relative left is negative that. Yep. Yep. Is it is it that is it because our angle's 180.05? What are we? No, I think we how how loose is our math on the other side? I can't remember. I actually I don't think our math is that loose. Yeah, no, it's less than 180. Oh no, that's moving. No, it's um 90 yeah. and 270. Okay. So yeah, that should be acceptable. That no? should be fine. Yeah. Oh, we got rid of the angle snapping too. Never mind. Yeah. So yeah, that that sounds right because yeah, it's now pointing in that direction. Yep. It's moved ever so slightly into the next cell mm-hmm. in the middle of the cell. Yep. Sounds right. Now it should be on a horizontal. 
Put the breakpoint in the lit. horizontal. Put the breakpoint in the horizontal. Yeah. yeah. And well, now we're over here. Yeah. Uh, but our relative left, we're in the middle of the cell. How did we get in the middle of the cell? What the? <laughs> did, did, did we end up on a vertical track for a second? Without knowing? That's really weird. Mm -hmm. No idea. And our angle is and our angle 16. Is... <laughs> what? We must have gone... It must... Hang on, are you setting distance to zero? So, with all of this, distance is that tiny little number. Oh, so we came back in here again. Yeah. So, that's, so let's... That... Let's keep our breakpoint there and remove these two. And I'm, what I really want is a conditional breakpoint of it must hit those two before it hits the other ones, but I have yeah. no idea how to configure that in Visual Studio. I know you can, but... Uh, no, we can get that fancy. No. <clears throat> but also, I regret making the train slow. I think it's good. Why cool, so it... it gets to that point. But wait. We want this after after exiting this method that's in now. Yep. We. Yeah. So this we just keep stepping and step out of here into the next method because this should now. Yeah. So step F ten. F ten. F ten. F ten. It's fine. Go now. This should now move to the next track. So our next call should be in the horizontal, but I reckon it's not. So let's step through this. Cool. So our new left is <clears throat> into uh -huh. the new track. Our new top no, is there. It's... So our new left is yeah. smaller than there. Oh yeah, sorry. This... Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. So we go that way via a column. Yep. Perfect. And we Six. set our new left yep. to that value there. Yep. That's cool. cool. Fine. New top is fine. Yep. Yep. So we update our column, so that update works. our row. Yep. Left our top. Oh, we still got a little bit to go, so we keep going around. Ah, oh, so we are back in the angle track. No, I don't know. I, I just what? I just hit F five. Oh, okay. So something's happened now. What the? Oh, I know what it is. Do you? It's the. Tr it's thinking the track's the same. Our it, code to get the current oh, track are is you not inside getting... the loop. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. So the while needs to come out of here into Correct. the next thing, maybe. Yeah. So this is the float. Yeah, distance. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's because I think the balls. Oh no, it's not okay. Um, get you can get rid of speed adjustment factor, and we can put that put that line of code out. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then get rid of the loop. Yes. Yep. Which technically now we should be returning all of this back out as well, which is fun. Um, oh yeah, for Valida, yeah. Yeah. That's a problem for a future person. No, no, you want to, yeah, back. So it is within here? Yeah. Cool. So we grab our... Yep. Train dot move. Yeah. That looks better. I think speed is um, in fact it just needs a couple S. Perfect. So that now continuously passes in the new track. Yep. And yeah, this is definitely where we should be passing. Yes. Pass all these parameters back out to. Yeah. 
Do it work. Oh, what's oh. this? Oh, return distance, yeah. Yep. Need to fix that formatting there. Also, I think I've now polluted your file with a whole lot of tabs. Just, uh, just saying. Shouldn't have. Editor config should, should uh, solve it. Control ED. Yeah. Ten breakpoints. I'll hope for the best. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we missed it. Plenty know. of time. Oh, nice. It was a little stutter, maybe a little pause. Yeah, no. Could have been the rendering. Possibly. Um, though you know what we need to do now is get this thing moving at an actual proper speed. <laughs> Ten times the speed? Uh, no. That's bit fast, yeah. Five times the speed. That sounds good. <clears throat> need to make, like, speed adjustment factor. Actually, yeah, we should make it, like, a factor of a thousand or something like that. Yeah. And then put a slider for it. Yeah. Well, that's, I guess... All right, so train one way. Meryl. Nice. So good. And train the other way. Meryl. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. Very happy. Well um, the only thing that is not in here that I really think needs to be in here mm -hmm. is these silly little um, snap angle. Yeah. Oh, no, move verticals in there. Yeah, verticals got one. I think we just got, got rid of another. that one. I think they're backwards. But I could be so if it's smaller than 90 and greater than 270, then yes, it should definitely yeah. be zero. That's right. And if it's not, it should be 180. Yes, that makes Makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and awesome. We have very, very we simple do. movement. Yes. And we have our percentage and we have the track is responsible for telling where the train is. Excellent. Yep. Yes. Lovely. Perfect. Awesome. And they, they even stop halfway now. Yeah, that's it. They doing it. Actually, just just put one on again. I just want to see if they still turn. It kind of turned late before. No, that looks better. Yeah, yeah, that's much nicer than the COVID. <laughs> I thought I yeah. There's no, it's like lemons. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But the good news is it's like forty trains still sticking around fifty FPS ish. Yeah, yeah. not a lot of memory taken up here. No. Awesome. All right, I'm. I uh, that is that is cool. fantastic. <laughs> I'm very interested to see. So next week I'm on holidays. I'm definitely not streaming. Yeah. And then <laughs> the two weeks after that I'm in Redmond. So yeah. I doubt I will, and I certainly won't be at this time, <laughs> presumably, because it's <laughs> uh, it's currently three no four a.m. Um, yeah. So I'll be very yep. interested to see if I remember what any of this code does in a month. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing is, <clears throat> this can all definitely be simplified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's cool. I, I I actually really like leaving it here working, and having to come back and simplify it, but also having to come back and understand it because yeah, I feel like now if you simplified it, like we'd end up with that. Oh, that's just distance divided by radius, and it's like you look at that in a month, you will not have any clue. So I kind of yeah. like that it's like you can only simplify what you can understand. <laughs> well, that's exactly it. Yeah. Um, I will leave those comments there for you. Yes. <laughs> that are on throughout awesome. our crazy journey. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, and that you is... should just be able to create a branch and pull quest. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Thank you Perfect. so much. That's all right. I don't like these magic numbers, and yeah. there's a lot cleaner. This well, once a lot cleaner now looking at it. When doing the rest of the angle, uh, the rest of the track corners as well, some of those maybe. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna, awesome. I'm going to end it. Well, Thank cool. you. Call it there. Yes. No problem. I'll that's commit this off stream because awesome. that's running games. That's fine. All right. Yeah. See you later. Catch you later.